Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to understand the unidirectional integration in ServiceNow as well as the bidirectional integration in ServiceNow. We will do the integration between one instance of ServiceNow with the another instance of the ServiceNow. So let's start it. This is on Chrome. Uh, it is my first instance as a we have mentioned in this PPT, this is dev 11.95.98. This is my first instance, which is in Chrome. And another instance, which is in Microsoft Edge, which is dev 15.78.26. So I'm going to integrate one instance of this Chrome to the another instance of this Microsoft Edge. So first we will go to the Chrome. We will go to the application navigator in my personal developer instance. Here we have to type rest. After that, we have to go to the system web services outbound rest message. Now create one new rest message. Uh, here we have to write a mandatory name. Uh, we will write name send to instance to for our understanding purpose. Now here we require two things. That is first one is the endpoint and another one is the authentication from the second instance. For this we will go to the second instance which is on Microsoft Edge. Here we will go to the REST API Explorer from Application Navigator. Remember friends, this is a, another instance which is not the first which is open in Chrome. We, we will go to the System Web Services under the REST, REST API Explorer. From here, we will generate the URL for the instance one for the connections. For this integration, we will use the table APIs. Now we have a requ requirement which is like a, when I create an incident on instance one, automatically that same incident should be created on the instance two. So for this, we will create a table API, which is create a record that is the post. Here we have selected the post, then after we will select the table. Here we will select the incident table. After selection, we will scroll down and we will send the message for generation of our URL. First of all, we will check the connections. Yes, the status 200. Okay, so we can copy this link for our URL for the instance one. We will copy this URL then we will paste it into the endpoint here of the instance 1. Now we will require the authentication. Here we require the basic authentication. For this we will have to create the basic profile of the instance 2. So we will again go to the Microsoft Edge instance. Now we will go to the system security. Under system security, we have to open the users table. Now we will set the password and username for the admin. Here you can see the set password button. So we have to create a password for this admin. We will click on it. After that, we have to click on generate. 
now we have to copy this password password copied successfully then after save password password saved successfully then we have to logged out as a system admin then again we have to logged in as a system admin for just testing purpose so here our username is admin then after our password that we have copied just paste it login then after we have to change the password so we will paste the same copied password here which is current now we have to put new password then after confirmation of the password newly created submit now our password has been changed and we have again logged in as a system admin but now we have the password as well as the username it will be required for us in the instance one basic authentication so we will go to again instance one here now here we have to add the basic authentication profile for this we will click here we will create a new user we will give the name instance to user configuration we have to put the uh, admin which is a username for our instance too we have to put the password here which have been created submit then after we will just copy this now we have to save this after saving the automatically the default that is the get retrieve a record stpp method has been generated which is auto generated and we do not require this so we will create a new stpp method for or the as per our requirement so we will put here the post method we will click here stpp method which is post then after we will paste the same endpoint which have been put in the previous window so now mm. Now we will go to the HTTP request. Here we have to make the things dynamic. For example, uh, the short description or the caller person should be same as on instance one for the instance two also. So we will use here the JSON format for this dynamic triggering. So we will write the script like this. We will write short underscore description We will use this syntax for dynamic triggering of our incident records. So we will put here the specific name. For example, short description should be SD. Then after comma, then we will put the caller, caller underscore ID colon. Dollar is used for dynamic triggering. So caller. Now we will save this. After saving, we will test with whether our connection is working or not. So we will click on test in related links. Yes, our connection has been made. You can see the status 201. Now we will go back. For dynamic triggering, we have to create one business rule for the integration. For this, uh, we have to copy the paste, copy the script from the post HTTP method. So we will go again to this post which have been created earlier.
here under related links you can see the preview script uses from here we have to copy the script click on the preview script uses now copy all the script and go to the another tab of the same instance now here type the business rule under system definition here is the business rule click on click on it then after create a new business rule for our dynamic integration we will give the name for this business rule as a dynamic integration business rule we will select table we will select incident table after selecting table we have to click on add once after that we have to use the before or the after business rule then after insert then we will go to the advanced section of the business rule here we have to paste the same script that we have copied from the previous script uses after pasting we have to add two lines here below the rest message glide record here r dot set sorry r dot set here r dot set string parameter no escape here we will write sd comma run dot short underscore description then after again r dot set string parameter no escape in bracket caller comma run dot caller underscore id now we will save this business rule after saving the business rule we will go to the incident form we will create a new incident for the checking whether our integration is working or not first we will check the how many incident already present in instance 2 so this is the our instance 2 here we will go to the incident all open list we will go to the incident all open list here there are 49 records already present okay so we will go to instance 1 and create a new record we will fill the mandatory things first we will use another caller person instead of system admin there is no caller already maybe now we will write the short description here we will write call from instance one now we will save this form the incident form has been saved and this is the short description call from instance one so we will go to the instance two here the 49 records are present now we will refresh this
yes a new record record has been created this is the new record yes this is new record has been created you can see the 50 records now have been in the incident list this was the unidirectional integration from one instance to another instance